friend. friend, Lucinda Scala Quinn, who is back with us. We're so tickled to have her here today with the original collection of the Spurtle. This is the one that started it all. This, well, actually, the two the that two. started it all. Big Spurt, Little Spurt, <laughs> it's the funnest tool in the kitchen, David. Let's be serious. I love that. Meet this pretty lady. You know her and love her from television, from her Mad Hungry show. She also works in the Martha Stewart Test Kitchen. Yes, I do. She is also the mother, is it two boys? No, three. Three boys, I beg your pardon. Didn't three. mean to short you one child. Mad Hungry Boys. Mad Hungry dad. Boys. And I would imagine your husband then makes four that you're cooking it, for. I'm just surrounded, and I have three brothers. My word. All right, so, so you got a lot of hungry fellas at your house. So this tool is amazing. But what's exciting about this tool is that it's not new technology. It's just that we're reintroducing it to the marketplace. Well, we're seeing it here in its original state in Scotland 500 years ago to stir and make oatmeal. Now, you can see why. You've got this paddle, and you're getting all the way down into the corner, right? And I actually bought the original one from a carver that was carving this heirloom tool. And I took it to my television set of Mad Hungry. And you know, you have a crock there, like one of your temptations. Utensils, crops. yeah, yeah, yeah. And every single time I would do anything, I would bring this out. And then I got all these hundreds of letters saying, what is that elongated wooden spoon thing? So I decided that I would start making it, and it has just taken off. Like people want to have three, four, five. In my house, they just run out the door. I'll tell you, I use this in my kitchen every single time I cook, and I'll tell you, so easy. Uh, yesterday morning, I was making eggs. I had a rare Saturday off because it was fashion day, so there was no Saturday morning queue for me yesterday. Oh my goodness! So I had a rare Saturday off, and I actually got to cook breakfast at home, which was such a treat. Funny you should mention that because that's one of my favorite things to do. And I use this for my eggs. Exactly. Exactly, because first of all, oftentimes we're using a nonstick pan, right? Sure. You don't want to ruin your pan. And there is nothing like this for eggs. I mean, you can make scrambled eggs super, super simply, or it's one of the best omelet makers there is. Oh my gosh, it's so great. Let me tell you, real quickly, and pardon my interruption, no, I'll, you sell, go. I'll just let you know that this sold out the last time it was on the air, and that was way back in October yes. of okay. last year. Everybody's been asking me when I'm bringing back the original, and I, this is it because. And I went on social media. I told everybody, "Look at this, pulling it back, right? Letting all that liquid get on the Letting all the liquid through, and it just gets right into the curve, and there's no scratches or scrapes, which is one of the things I love. Now, when I make my omelets. I do a little bit of this, right? It's the original uh, flippity doo da, sure. and I keep it like I that love for the a minute. Doo -dah. The flippity doo da, <laughs> and then I just go like this, and then it's a overly doo da, and then you've got a special doo da omelet right there for oh, you. Oh, the doo da day. Oh, the doo da day. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Hey, let me remind you what you're getting here. You're getting the big spurt and the little spurt. You're getting both of them. This is such an amazing tool. You heard me wax and wane poetically about the 49 blade uh, Denny meat tenderizer. Yes. I am now recommending the spurtle every single time I have someone in the media say, David, what are some of those other must-have kitchen gadgets? Because the spurtle you'll use all the time. Now, it's called a spurtle because it's part spoon and part spatula. So it really is remarkable. It's also made of bamboo, which is a super, super durable wood. I will tell you, this is not designed to go in your dishwasher. Now, <laughs> if it occasionally- If only my kids knew that. If it occasionally ends up in there, not a real big problem, but I would tell you over time, it's not the best for no, your spurtle. Just oil it up. Yeah, That's oil all. it up a little bit because wood, like everything else, is porous, needs a little bit of that moisture. I will also tell you, if you just uh, clean it in the sink with warm soapy water and let it dry thoroughly and put it back in your utensil crock, you're good to go. Yeah, and here I'm, this is what I love about this tool, David, is it stirs, it, look it, it's scraped, right? And uh, it scoops, no more of that, like, you just scoop right out here exactly the amount you need in one fell swoop for our potato salad. You get a big cudgel salad. of that uh, mayonnaise and you're ready to go in and make your potato salad. And look how much area it covers, so you, you, you can really stir easily. And these potatoes, I mean, come on, there's a lot here you're trying to stir up. Let me tell you, we've got a lot of these already out the door. In fact, we've already taken orders for over 2,100 spurtle sets. Uh, I have 700 people that just jumped on the phone lines, and I'll tell you these sold out the last time they were on the air. But can I tell you, the last time these were on the air when they sold out was October of 2014. It has been a long time since we've had these back on the air, so please don't let these get away from you today because this is the original set of Spurtle, and you're going to love it because you get not one, you get both. I used these Look, earlier to frost my cupcakes, I my saw bunny, it. my We're going to get down there, That's exactly. especially with Easter. Now, with the spoon, you're kind of going like that. With the Spurtle, it's just boom. 
I love boom, it. and you've cleaned it off. Love it, love it. So, I have a few little new things to show you today, please, David. Please, please. Now, risotto seems so hard, like this big thing that you get in a restaurant that costs a million dollars. Here's a quick risotto, and this is one of my favorite tools for it, is I just have some rice that I made a little bit wetter than normal, okay. right? Then I put in some and Parmesan is, cheese. Is this Arborio rice? This is just regular rice. Oh, it's regular rice. And by the way, rice. so is Arborio. We'll talk about that another time. Okay. Arborio is just, just regular rice, although sometimes it just sits up in that cabinet doing nothing because you're afraid of it. That's okay. the risotto rice. Okay. So I have some mushrooms, and this is a lovely thing to make for Easter, to make a quick risotto like this. Like a side dish? And a, a side dish and a little bit of cream, and then when you can really see is how this tool gets into the corners and gets you the opportunity for no sticking. My mom, I always bring this up because she always says, finally a tool that a cook designed who mm. really cooks so you can get into these corners and look at this yummy creamy risotto in about half the time that you would make a normal risotto. I need to let you know now, 4,100 sets are gone. David. I have 1,200 people who just jumped on the phone lines and look again what you're getting. You're getting the big spurt and you're getting the little spurt. These sold out in October of last year. This is the first chance we've had to get them back on the air because it took a long time to get the reorder in. It did. Now, listen, these things melt, other things scratch, these spatulas chip and melt, but the thing about this is it does all those jobs. Mm -hmm. It does the stirring, it does the scraping. Of course, we always, David, we can never get away without having some mashed potatoes on well, the show. Well, of course. And this is one of the things. Well, it's one of God's most perfect foods. <laughs> it really is, and a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll. It's taters, come on. <laughs> I will drain my taters, and I won't even bother getting out the masher. I'll just use the back of this to mash. Of course, we already mashed these, and then you're scooping and you're stirring and that sort of thing. So mm. here I've, you know, how many things, I mean, scrambled eggs, potato salad, mashed potatoes. Now let's go over here and get into one of my, now we're getting into some, this is some real production work that I end up having to do in my house, well, okay? Well, with three boys, I have to believe you made your fair share of, of uh, sandwiches over the years, oh, right? My, okay, let's go to the peanut well, butter sandwich. Well, I mean, but this could be a sandwich too. There could be a chicken salad sandwich, That's right? That's got like three things it does. All right, let's start here. So okay. here you go, here's what you're doing. Where's my mayo? So, I am, I've got my tuna in the chunks, right? Now I make tuna salad at least twice a week. Again, I get out just as much as I need without having to go back in. So I have scooped. Now I'm scraping. Onions and celery. Yep, and now I'm tuna. stirring and I'm also smashing. Because you don't always want giant chunks of tuna in your tuna salad, right? You want right? a little more shredded, yeah. You're gonna reach for this thing. I read on QVC, so many people think, this is the most unbelievable tool I've ever had. I didn't know how many things I can do with it, right? You know right? what, Lucinda, I completely agree. I use this in my kitchen all the time. I love these tools because they're just, they become an extension of my hand. Exactly, and here we have a tuna, a little tuna sandwich. I don't, I'll tell you right now, if I wasn't standing here with you, I would be eating this. You'd right? house that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. Oh, face to <laughs> face to the sandwich, face right there. Plant in face the plant sandwich. Face plant in the sandwich. There All right. Go. So, as you brought up, three growing boys, peanut butter and jelly. A lot of peanut butter. A lot of peanut butter. This is where the little spurt has my heart. I must say, one scoop of peanut butter. One piece of bread. Ooh, that's a biggie. That's actually a David size scoop. That's a David size scoop. That's what that but is. I can sit here and I can make the sandwiches in no time. And you know something? These little things, when you're a home cook and you've got a family, figuring out how to save, save some time in the kitchen makes a huge difference. It truly does. And I'll tell you, we are super, super busy on our phone lines. 7,000 sets are now gone. Oh my 1,200 goodness. people still on the phone lines waiting to place an ordering. So here's what I need to uh, ask if you could, please. Use automated ordering. Go to QVC.com. Use your mm. QVC mobile app. And I'll tell you, earlier you saw me work on my bunny bum cupcakes. <laughs> and the first step was to ice the cupcake and then dip it into the crushed chocolate sandwich cookies. Such a cool idea. To by make the it way. look like soil, right? And then we built the little bunny like he had his head in the ground. So what we want to do is show you you can just take a little bit of your icing, get it right onto the top of your cupcake, and the best part is this I is perfectly do that shaped. Too. Because then you can do a nice, nice, even spread. I think I need a little bit more icing. And you know what? You don't have to have a special tool. That's the thing that's beautiful. When you have one tool that does five, six, seven, eight things, it becomes the most important tool in your kitchen besides your knife. Can I tell you a little oh story? My God. Right I want to eat this right too. Right before the show began today, 
we were going over my recipe, and I said to one of our prep chefs, could you bring me the little spurtle, because they had a regular spatula out. Little and spurt. Exactly, I asked for the little spurt. Little spurt. And one of the other prep chefs said, well, David, I'll bring you an offset spatula, which is what most bakers would use to That's frost right. with. I said, but you know what, I won't need something fancy. I just need my spurtle. That's right. And here, I'm, what I'm doing here is folding. Now, this is another thing I know you love, David, which is you've got a lot of heavy fruit, and you have some yogurt, and by the way, Buy fresh fruit, buy plain yogurt, put a little maple syrup in there. Nothing I could hadn't be more. I thought about the maple syrup. Oh my goodness, this is my kid's go-to snack because you know I don't buy them a bunch of those things. from Free the process. Business. I don't do that. I, I make everything fresh, but look how simple this is. And with this beautiful tool, I'm folding. I love I'm, the idea of the maple syrup. I would have gone honey or and something. And you know what this is? Did you grow up eating ambrosia? Oh yes, of course. Which is whipped cream and marshmallows. This and is, fruit. Yeah. I pass this off as ambrosia. Sure. It's like it's the new healthy ambrosia. Healthy ambrosia. And yeah. God knows you don't want to get rid of ambrosia. Now I know this is another one of your favorites. David. Well, I love using this as a do you folding tool. Do it? I would love to do because this. Because I can do it. So this is actually a little whip topping into chocolate mousse. Now, the whole secret with folding is that you're folding, not necessarily mixing. Exactly. You have to keep the air inside exactly. of the mousse. So and when the cream. I fold something like this, I cut the mixture in half with my spurtle and then fold one half into the other. And you have the whole area of that spurtle instead of just the exactly. rubber part, which is what you usually have. And then have. I just keep repeating that method until I get it all nicely and evenly folded. And oh if you need gosh. to do a little scrape all around the bowl, it's great. If you've got mm. a mixer that you have to scrape the bowl, the spurtle is great for that, particularly the big spurt. Exactly. It can get into a deep bowl if you need to. If you have an older KitchenAid where they don't have that flex edge beater, Oh, with the listen, one that, that scrapes as it uh, mixes. Look this would at be here. Great. You go. It, you can see by the half of this pan that you're getting right into the corner edges. If you're making a custard or you're making anything like that, you know how it ends up ganging in the corners. Right. And you don't do that here because this tool does everything. I'm making some springtime sprinkles oh, on these cupcakes. Oh, beautiful. Okay. There we go. You know, I'm Just having a hard Easter. time not actually wanting to here. eat one of those cupcakes, so I'm going to well, make some more there's eggs. There's not a reason in the world why you couldn't later. Uh, mm. Later, after my eggs. After your egg, oh, and after your tuna salad. And after my tuna salad, I'm so, I, actually, I could eat everything on this table right now. <laughs> that's uh -oh. my girl. I have brown butter now with my eggs. You know, that's not a bad thing, by the way. Brown butter is super delicious. Well, it is super delicious as long as brown butter doesn't turn into burned butter. It didn't. This is delicious brown butter caramelized and nuts. And oh no, yummy. And, and you did it perfectly. I was just uh, encouraging everybody yes. at home. If you tend to put butter into a, a pan that's too hot and it starts to get brown, get it off the heat immediately. Like I did, the professional. You cook. immediately <laughs> picked it up, yeah, which is great because that way you get the beautiful flavor of brown butter and you get it before that butter has a, ta a chance to burn and turn rancid. Okay. This is K40934. 10,000 sets are gone. Oh my goodness, people now, are getting them, yay! Hey, let me remind everybody that we, uh, last time we had this on the air, it sold out completely, and that was way back in October. So I want to remind you what you're getting here. And I keep banging these together because this is bamboo. You, know, you can bamboo, get people's attention that way, yes, too. Yes, you can. In the bamboo house, I do. Bamboo is one of the most durable woods in the world. Sustainable. And a, yeah, exactly. And there's a reason why every time we saw on Gilligan's Island, they built their huts out of bamboo because they were durable and reliable. And sustainable, because they were on a three-hour tour that turned into three-year tour. Well, I think it was more like six years. Didn't that show run for a long time? And I don't know how Marianne was able to bake coconut cream pies on that island, but that's a whole other story. But I'll tell you, you get two of these. I'm sorry I digress, but you get me talking about Gilligan's, and I got a whole lot of questions. But anyway, this is what's great. You get both of the spurtles, and you get, uh, you get these for that one low price of $19.92. How many of these ordered now, Jason? Over 10,000 are gone. Wow. And a lot of folks are buying more than one set. They make great gifts. And we've got over 500 people, did you say? Did you say 500? 500 people waiting on the phone lines. All right. That's going to wrap this up. Lucinda, you're my angel. My, you're the mm -hmm. I adore you. I adore um, you. Stay on the line for these. And let me remind you about the Traeger real quick.